Yeah, so hi guys. Now we are at the Sets Lounge and I'm going to Sweden without rage. This is my company, my new boyfriend called JJ and we are going there for a songwriting camp and yeah so if you guys didn't know that Sweden is actually like uh, the place of songwriting in the world so I'm just trying to relieve my childhood dreams of being a musician so we'll be, be there for two weeks and yeah so catch you guys My shorts. <laughs> I'm in Phuket. Eh, wow, well, this Phuket not bad, ah. See, got McDonald, but got no sea. Oh, yeah. Why? Yeah, everything is saltier. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe our first meal in Sweden is McDonald's. McDonald's. Look at that Golden Gate Bridge, bro. <laughs> 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 hey, very nice, yeah. So we are in Perfect and this is where we are staying. It's like the town square but like there's more square than town. In. Basically, I returned the car, so I gotta run back. That's why I don't know whether you guys know how lucky you are to be actually from here, coming from Singapore, because there are many record labels and publishing houses and schools all over the world trying to come in here. But Ula has always been very well coming to us. I think probably because we share a lot of same ideas, you know, like we want you guys to recognize that songwriting is an actual career and there's a living that can be made, you can be sustainable just by doing music. Mm -hmm. And if you guys think in Singapore it's so tough, right? I don't think it's much different from Sweden mm -hmm. because you guys are also like Singapore, we are considered a little bit on the outside, yeah. right? And we are serving the US and the UK, mm. and we are in Singapore serving like the Chinese and all that, you know? So we are all in the same position, but if they can do it, we can do it. Mm. If Ula can get on a Fox list, right? Mm. I, I hope one day I can get on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Ula, was it last year? Was it last year? Two years ago. Two years ago, yeah. Yeah, she got on a Fox list of one of the most mm. influential people in the music industry. So I mean, the school, if you can see behind, it's like a super nice like lake and this is Music Makana. Yeah. This is where the tiny school is and this is the view from the school. Yeah. So guys, today is day two and we are trying to Use Jisoo as a reference, <laughs> you know, like. So this Edmund, this Edvin, yeah, from Sweden, and yeah, we are on it. Hope you're having a nice day. Yeah. <laughs> and I have my studio up there, so uh, let me show you.
Morgan. Yeah. So we are on our art walk and everyone is like trying to find something to like draw, you see? She's like painting and yeah. We are doing this exercise called the object writing, so yeah. Catch you guys later. So we are at the pier. This is falling feathers. Not falling. And yeah, this is really nice. Come guys, look at this. Whew. Sometimes it's so nice to really just not, you know, do anything. You know. So it's like 10 30 now. And this is like the darkest it will get. It won't get any darker than this. So this is what it looks like. Kind of like dusk. So we did a very crazy hike. Okay, uh, it's like only 2.5 p.m. And we are up here in this Kudubrek. It's really nice. It's like a restaurant at the top. And wow. Wow. Look at the top of this guy. And that's JJ. Who survived? Walking down now. Apparently all these are like weeds, although we Singaporeans like to think of them as like lavender But it's weed, not like the weed, but like weeds, you know I think you know what's faster I carry you then we run down <laughs> See look at Brent stuck Trying to walk down The oldest guy here eh? It's me, not Eric <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm happy you went to, made it down to yeah, yeah, the mountain yeah, yeah. and not yeah. just in Hunchensteak. I saw you were hiking just behind my house a few days ago as well. That's behind your house? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I saw things like literally, literally behind my house. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Ernst Erwig is a place where they make Fjallraven Kanken, if you guys know. Emma and Audrey and Edmund and we are writing a song together yeah so we have a full day to write a song we just talked about life and music so yeah so we're recording now yeah <laughs> what trying to stand on oh we tried to try to stand on my head yep set it to life but see I would die so many many regrets Beautiful. <laughs> so today we have Nicholas and Shimin and writing songs together. Yeah. So let's see what we come up with. So we're done. Yes. And we're gonna sign, sign. the document. What's the document? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fifty-six rounds and still not coming around. I guess we're never really gonna find ourselves a common ground. It's not like I don't know what it's like to be living in a ghost town, but not a damn frown. I know how to give myself a crown. I think we we started off like talking about like. Um, Having the stage in life, I guess, yeah, and and then having like courage and and you know, um, so I was talking about like how Brene Brown has like a Netflix special that talked about you know, um, uh, courage is not the absence of fear, but like stepping through shame and really being on out there and like 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 kind of like being creators, we have to like put out what we want to say and what we want to do and and and. We are kind of like 
a target of people's praise and also like um, um, criticism. So this is kind of like a courage message to, to the world out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I had the track yeah, prepared, so I played it, and, and that's when you thought of the word courage. Yeah. Originally, and you played us some uh, reference songs that helped us with direction as far as yeah, including Jay Chou. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Great singing. Thank you. So this is music Makana here. So this is music Makana here. It's a really small building. Uh, it's just part of the building. They share it with everyone else. But so many songs came out from this place. Our memories will always be there like the ace of hearts in a deck of cards when everything's over. The sideways byways will always be new Today we'll die but never mind We'll find another game there somehow So we're doing good vocals now Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> this is professional singing guys <laughs> It Bernschosvik. It's in the E Hotel and oh look at that beer sausage. What a nice cocoa gel. And yeah, it's really nice. Hot muscles and all that. Oh but it's not nice. It's nice, but it's very hot. Hard. Right? So it's like what? What time is it? 7 plus and the sky is super high in the sky. So it's literally like 11 11 pm plus like almost 12 and look at the sky it is not setting it's not getting darker it's like the darker it's, it's, it will get so i'm going to fetch the kids from the school now <laughs> uh, you're a true diamond in the rough like i i think we're gonna hear you uh, across the world in the future <laughs> it's time to release man <laughs> Princess Cake. Wow. <laughs> so is anyone of you uh, like lactose intolerant or <laughs> vegan or something like that? Do we have a, a chocolate cake for you? <laughs> Aww. Why is it called a princess cake? Um, it's a good question. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably when it was created, it might have been created just to in honor of the princess, maybe, maybe it was created at her birth. Whatever princess that would have been, because <laughs> so it's the current princess. It's a song concept. <laughs> so most likely, uh, some kind of famous bakery got a challenge to, to make a cake dedicated to the princess. Maybe. That's my guess. Sounds possible. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how I came to want to join this camp was when I was watching um, Eric and JJ work on a demo and I was throughout like one whole day I was like oh wow okay that's interesting then I thought to JJ hey, well, like why not I come to Music Makana so then I came here it, it kind of is like I wanted to come here to find my music self again and see where music plays in my life because um, I used to want to be a super rock star or like Justin Bieber basically <laughs> but yeah it didn't happen so I just but but I don't I feel like something is always missing for the past few years where I wasn't doing music and I think coming here really helped me 
find out where I want to be and like how like I want to do music that's my own but do music that I like. I think it's more than just a music trip for me. I think it's really a trip that really helped me find that connection back to, to, to my own self. Yeah. In, in music which that, that I really loved and you know and not needing to be the best. I think that's something that I learned as well. And to be able to collaborate with people, to work with people which is I haven't done in music. So what's next for you? <laughs> um, yeah, so I, uh, I'll be releasing a song in August. Yeah, and then maybe more releases uh, going forward. JJ and I wrote a song. I think that would be my second one. And yeah, just try to make this artist thing uh, uh, maybe kind of sustainable, but uh, not 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 having too many expectations but really mainly to make myself feel connected to myself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We are having going to another store to see that dumpling. Hot pot. Look at that. Dumped a whole bunch of stuff inside. There's already a whole bunch of stuff in there. That's true. Where's the two eyeshadow bottle? One more, one more, one more. Wow. Yeah, so today is Midsummer's and we are going for the Midsummer Festival thing. Yeah, so Nicholas is driving us there. The train station now. Look at the view behind. It's absolutely amazing. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Wow. Look at it. Beautiful. And we are going back to Stockholm to just chill. See you in the sleeper train. So we got like this sleeping thing, and there are like six people. So blah blah. But let's try and we're making out a bit now. And yeah. If I HQ. Talking about the clothes. Actually, I'm just guessing. I don't really know what they talk about. Obviously, IKEA has more meatballs, but I think it looks not bad. It looks pretty good. 
everybody happy with their food. So we are in Ikea, Ikea, Ikea in Sweden. This is Stockholm Ikea city. And here we go. So we are leaving now and you can hear JJ Ping here. What a beautiful key. So we are leaving and we are going to head to the airport and yeah! So that's it. Nice. Got a whole cut to ourselves in this Alanda Express.